Today we're going to create a lightning effect. So we're going to start by creating a new HTML5 canvas. Then we're going to take our image and put it on our stage. Remember that if any of it overlaps your stage, that part will not be visible. So if you need to resize, you should do that. I'm going to make my image layer my background. And I'm going to lock it. And I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to name that lightning. Some of the old features of Flash have not made it back into the new version of Adobe Animate. So I'm going to save this as lightning. And then I'm going to close my program and I'm going to open up Adobe Flash CS6 instead. So in Flash CS6 I have my open dialog. I'm going to open up that lightning file that I had. We'll click OK to confirm opening it. Everything should be OK because we just had a background picture in there. On my lightning layer I want to go to the Deco tool. And under the Deco tool, I want to change to the Lightning Brush Drawing Effect. Here I can choose my Lightning Color. And I want to turn Animation on. So I'm going to check the box. And I'm going to start just off the edge. And I'm just going to draw a lightning bolt across the sky. And then the very next frame, insert a blank keyframe. Skip between 10 and 15 frames and do another blank keyframe. We will uh, insert a frame right under it so we can see our sky. And then back on our lightning layer with our deco tool, let's draw a second lightning bolt from a different location. Make sure you don't draw it too fast so that your timeline can build up an animation. If you just draw the whole thing at once, you only have a couple frames and you won't see it build up across the screen like this. So I'm going to insert another blank keyframe. Skip a little bit more time, insert a frame underneath on the top layer using my deco tool. Then add a decent amount of space, maybe a couple seconds worth, and we will insert a frame on both layers. Make sure I have a blink keyframe right after my lightning bolt because it should not just stay around like this for the next several seconds. That'd look funny. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Hit save to confirm. There wasn't anything else I needed to do with a deco tool. So all the other features are in animate CC. So I'm going to switch back over. Let me close this and open up animate. Open up my lightning file. We'll see that the lightning objects that we created are now on the screen. I'm going to lock that layer and I'm going to unlock the background. And I'm going to insert a keyframe, which is also F6 until I have the same number of keyframes as I have on my lightning. I'm going to go back and do the same thing for the next one, and same for the last one. And then what I want to do is every other frame, so I'm going to start on frame 2. I'm going to select my background, I'm going to convert it to a symbol so I can put a filter on it, let's call it background. I'm going to adjust the color. Specifically, I want the brightness to go up. And then to make sure I don't mess this up, I'm just going to copy my frame and then every other frame, I'm going to paste that. So paste frame on four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, and however long your animation happens to be. Then the easiest thing to do would be to copy that and do paste and overwrite frames at the beginning of your second one. And then if there's extras, we can just clear those keyframes. Make sure that your last keyframe is a normal one. So if you need to copy a frame and paste a normal frame at the same place as your blank keyframe, then that's fine. I'm going to copy my frames here, paste and overwrite frames here. Clear my keyframes so that I end on a blank background. And my final effect should look like this when I press Control enter Now if I go to File and Publish Settings, we'll see that this only wants to publish as a Flash file and not as an HTML5 canvas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file that's an HTML5 canvas. I'm going to go to my Lightning. I'm going to select all of my frames, copy them. Switch over to my HTML5 canvas and paste my frames. Go ahead and 
close my lightning file. And then I'm going to save this over my lightning assignment and replace it. Then my public settings will be to HTML5. Click my folder, hit save to be in my website animate folder and publish those files to the website. Hit OK. Close this, hit yes to save your publish settings to your file. In Dreamweaver, hit refresh to reload your file list. Drag over your lightning HTML file to the bottom. Save everything. Select your animate folder or your site folder. Hit upload to upload all your files. Then on your site, click on your animate button, your lightning link, and the animation should play on your screen.